Time now, of course, for our Muni moment. After a strong showing from Muni bonds over the summer, investors awaiting some supply pressure to come in September. And of course, taking some big cues from the Treasury market, all ahead of another big Federal Reserve decision in mid to late September. Joining us now to discuss all of this, I'm pleased to say Kim Fredericks, Managing Director of Fixed Income at Kane Anderson Rudnick. Start broad with us as well. The cues from that Treasury market on the back of some of the Fed meeting minutes that we got at 2 p.m. It is yields that continue to push higher. Is that really see where you see the directionality of yields higher? Definitely at this point. Um, you know, we're seeing, we're going to see less increase, uh, less uh, Fed movements, I think. Uh, people were definitely expecting 50, 50s, um, you know, 75s in some cases. I think we were definitely expecting to see 50. Um, I think one of the things that's interesting right now is that the Fed's in a wonderful position. Um, they've got all this time, a plethora of interest of uh, data points coming in between now and September. And if they do the 50 that everyone's expecting in September, um, they don't do any shock to the market, the Treasury markets, the Muni markets, anyone. Um, and then we get to wait until November for the next move. So it kind of gives everyone a chance to uh, look at all the data and be data dependent, as they say. I guess a few of us here were disappointed about the lack of the mention of tightening in the minutes here, because there's a lot of question about what kind of impact that's going to have moving into the fall. In your mind, what would that impact be and how tight can they really get this year? You know, I think uh, I think 50 is the next move and I think they have to be careful. I, I don't think they want to go into November being too extreme. I think they want to uh, you know, like I said, they've got a big gap here. Mm. Um, so, you know, you do 50 in September. By the time we get to the next meeting in November, a lot of data points are going to have taken place. Yeah. We're going to have seen, you know, July numbers, August numbers, September numbers, October numbers. There's a lot of data coming out. And and we're, we're really talking one Fed hike in September mm. that everyone pretty much, I think, is on the, the 50 basis point right now. Pivot, and then yeah, we go from there. Pivot with us as well to some of the individual world of the muni market as well. When you think about the supply and demand dynamics, the ability of that market to digest that, what do you make of it? Well, it's interesting. Um, right now, there's so much cash in the muni market. Um, when you, you know, there's so much cash on the the buy side from everything that's, you know, all the money that's come in um, over the summer. Um, and at the same time, local government states have so much cash on their side. So when you look at the California budget, you see that they're budgeting 55% less issuance this year. Mm -hmm. So we're moving into September um, on the buy side anticipating that we're finally going to see some issuance um, and yes we are going to see some issuance but is September really going to be what we always anticipate um, I don't know I mean that's one data point but um, we may not see the big issuance that we're all mm -hmm. anticipating and that may be very supportive of muni prices going forward 